Okay, we're going to do a goblet squat master class. So here we go. You take the belt, swing it up, and you hold it by the horns like this. Okay, so you're holding it by the side. Elbows pointing straight down. A lot of people, you'll see them chicken wing their elbows up this way. What will happen there is you'll be holding it on your shoulders across here, and that will hurt. What you want to do is tuck your elbows in, squeeze your armpits, your lat muscles down the back, down the side here, it'll feel like your elbows are resting on your ribcage and your lat muscles will engage and the belt is resting on there. Okay. So let's just move on a little bit. See, tuck my elbows in and squeeze them. So we're not holding the bell out in front like that. You're keeping it into your chest. Push your chest into the bell, pull your elbows into your ribcage, your lat muscle here. You should feel this underneath your armpit here, tense up. Okay, so then what we're going to do is take, you take a deep breath in, see that? I'll go back and do that again, a deep breath in, see that? <laughs> I'm breathing in, look where my elbows are and then watch what I do. See that? Pull my rib cage down, tense my abs, squeeze my armpits, so you can see here that that is tight. I'm going to squeeze my butt cheeks, my thighs, I'm going to push my feet into the floor and I'm going to spread the floor apart, okay? So I'm going to be almost as if I'm trying to push my feet apart, but I'm pushing them into the floor so they won't move, okay? Then what I do is lead with your hips and you're going to sit down directly between your heels, okay? Like that. So my elbows are just inside my knees. My knees are pushed out. You will notice that my knees are tracking my toes. So you want your knee to be in line with your second toe. Okay. Most people's knees will come in, will cave inside. If that's happening, you're going to get sore knees. So push them out. You can use your elbows to push your knees out as well, if you want to. Okay. The elbows come just inside the knees and sit kind of just inside on top. Okay just there. So what we're not trying to do is get the elbows down inside the knees by folding forwards. So we're keeping the chest nice and proud, armpits squeezed still, so the lat muscle is still squeezed, and you will notice that my back is flat all the way up. That is flat, okay? That's what we're after. And if you can, this is all the way to the bottom of the squat, so what you'll see is if we squat what we call parallel, you will see my thighs, my thighs would be along here, in line with the ground, so my bum would be in line with my knees. I'm squatting below parallel here, so basically my hamstrings, which are behind, like below your butt cheeks here, are touching my calves, which are here. So that is a low squat. You'll notice I've created an arch with my foot, so my foot is planted into the floor, and I'm almost rotating this foot that way, and this foot, that way. I'm not rotating them, but I'm pushing them into the floor and trying to rotate. I'm trying to push the floor apart, and that creates this arch here. So I'm standing on a tripod, which is my heel, just be behind my little toe here, and on just behind my big toe here. That's the tripod that I'm standing on, okay, on each foot. Heels are flat on the floor. 75% of the weight is on my heels, 25% on my toes. You're gripping the ground with your toe as well, okay? So a lot of people, when they're doing the squat, the heels will come up. If that happens, go to the assisted squats, potato sack squats, do all the stuff beforehand as well. Okay? You will also notice that my shins are as vertical as possible. Okay? That's what we're after. So let's just move on. I'm rambling on a bit. And then when you stand back up, bang. Squeeze your butt cheeks and thighs at the top, pull your elbows in, squeeze your lat muscles. Okay? So, let's see what happens next. The way, what we're doing with breath as well is at the top, take a deep breath in. Oops, sorry. At the top, take a deep breath in and brace. So, deep breath in, brace. Hold your breath on the way down to there. Hold your breath, okay? Because we're trying to maintain a pressure cylinder here. If you breathe out, it makes your back vulnerable. So hold your breath. And then as you stand up, once you become above parallel, you can start to breathe out here. But you're not breathing all the way out. It's just a 
<laughs> breathe out, light in the plank, so you're keeping the tension in your abs and the tension in your lat muscles. Stand up nice and tall, see that? <laughs> I've just breathed out there, nice and solid, straight line up, butt cheek squeeze, thigh squeeze, elbows tucked in, lats engaged. That is the goblet squat.